with more than 20 animals from eight different species in the Claw Rainforest Lookout at ZSO London Zoo, keepers have a real challenge keeping tabs on everyone, but they won't let the monkey madness hold them back. Keeper Jay Smith has developed a method of controlling the chaos with the gentle aid of coloured stars and squares on sticks. We actually do something called target training. What that uh, means is we have um, a stick with a target on it which would be a coloured shape of some kind, an orange triangle or a yellow circle and we will actually lay that down in front of the animal, point it towards the animal, they will touch it, we will click and then we will give them a reward. The reward will be um, a grape usually. The reason why we do the training primarily is to get access to the animals in such a big environment um, for the purposes of when vets visit to look at animals we can actually get them close. Using this method Jay and the other trainers can actually walk the monkeys into a smaller area for closer inspection or to gather them up for a vet check. We have a couple of routes of liana or branch work that takes us to the catch up directly from the start point so we can actually train the monkeys into the catch up they go in there, touch a target plate which corresponds to their shape, so it's just a plate with their yellow circle on it. They touch that, get a bigger reward, and then they're trained immediately out. And from there, they go back to the start point and are weighed. When normally in the tropical forest exhibit, Jay and fellow keepers are running around cleaning, tidying, and maintaining the multi species home. So the animals never see them stand still. However, when they start the training, they stand still for three minutes. The animals have now recognised that we're training and we're about to start training and they will actually come round and stand ready to be trained and what we do at that point is we actually write down who turned up for training and then we can judge from that how keen the animal is that day and reasons why that might be. In January 2008, two loved up TT monkeys produced a baby and the work the training team put in enabled weights of parents and baby to be rigorously collected. Now the baby is being trained as well. Before the baby was born, uh, we had the weight of the mum and the dad just days before the baby was born. And now with the dad carrying that baby, we can actually deduct and give an approximation of the weight of our three-month-old red TT, which the last approximation was 405 grams, uh, which is a good weight. Um, we also train our silvery marmosets and our pygmy marmosets and our golden headed lion tamarins also. Uh, you know, what we aim to do is, and what we're capable of doing is getting a weight off each animal every day if we needed to. And that's invaluable if you've got an animal that's not well that you can weigh every day in an environment where you can't control the food consumption as much as you'd like. Um, it, you know, it's just from a from a vet point of view, it's brilliant.